Hello everyone, my name is Michael. Welcome to the Rest in God YouTube channel. Open your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1 through 4. This is my servant, I strengthen him. This is the chosen one, I delight in him. I have put my spirit on him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not cry out or shout or make his voice heard in the streets. He will not break a bruised reed, and he will not put out a smoldering wick. He will faithfully bring justice. He will not grow weak or be discouraged until he has established justice on earth. The islands will wait for his instruction. Isaiah was referencing a future servant. Three important things. The servant would bring justice to the nations. Number two, he would not cry out aloud or raise his voice. This was a reference to his quiet nature. Number three, he would not, bre he would not break a bruised reed. This is a reference to his compassion and gentle nature. Open your Bibles to Matthew chapter 12, verse 15 through 21. When Jesus became aware of this, he withdrew from there. Huge crowds followed him, and he healed them all. He warned them not to make it known, so that what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Here is my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom my soul delights. I will put my spirit on him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not argue or shout, and no one will hear his voice in the streets. He will not break a bruised reed, and he will not put out a smoldering wick. Until he has led justice to victory, the nations will put their hope in his name. Notice in verse 15 and 16. Large crowds followed Jesus, but Jesus had compassion on them, and healed them all. He just asked that they make known nothing of it. He didn't want to draw attention to himself. However, Matthew would realize that Jesus was the fulfillment of the Isaiah 42, 1-4 prophecy. A reed was a plant used to make baskets and musical instruments, once a reed was bruised or broken, it was considered worthless and it was thrown out. Look in verse 20. It says, Jesus will not break a bruised reed. A bruised reed in scripture was a reference to the spiritually, morally, or poor, or weak. Jesus would not break the weak, but instead he would have compassion on the weak. Let's look at more illustrations in scripture. Psalms 147, 3. He heals the brokenhearted and he binds their wounds. Let's look at another scripture. Mark chapter 3, verse 1 through 6. Another time Jesus went into the synagogue and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, Stand up in front of everyone. Then Jesus asked him, Which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees would go out and plot to kill Jesus. The Pharisees watched Jesus closely to see if he would heal the man. 
so that they could accuse him of working on the Sabbath. However, it was permitted to do good on the Sabbath. In verse 5, Jesus was angry at the stubborn hearts of the Pharisees and their unwillingness to heal the man. So Jesus had compassion and healed the man. They immediately went out and plotted to kill Jesus. Let's look at another scripture. Matthew chapter 8 Large crowds followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you're willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. Then Jesus said to him, don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the priest and let him examine you. Take along the offering required in the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be a public testimony that you have been cleansed. Let's look at a little bit of context. In the law, if you came in contact with someone with leprosy, you had to keep six feet distance. If the wind was blowing as much as 150 feet. In the culture, socially and both religiously, they were despised, especially by rabbis. In Jesus' time, rabbis would boast about how badly they treated people with leprosy. One even went as far as to say he enjoyed throwing rocks at the guy. Imagine feeling like that. Luckily, Jesus would have deep compassion on the guy and would heal him of his leprosy. Now it's time for the application and conclusion portion. A bruised reed he will not break. In the regular world, a bruised reed, once it's bruised or broken, can, is worthless. However, in Christ's realm, a bruised reed, someone that's rejected, despised, morally or spiritually weak, is of great value to Christ. Instead, he strengthens them. Let's look at another scripture. First Corinthians 1, 27 and 28. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. And the base things of the world, and the things which are despised, God has chosen, and the things which are not, to bring nothing to the things that are. Today, if you're weak, if you're a bruised reed, then Christ cares for you. He has true value for you, and he strengthens you.